Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite fate characters and their historical counterparts, including similar characteristics from legend to anime and the stories that made them heroes. The first character, or may I say, characters, has to be Britain's own, King Arthur and his round table. Starting with Arthur, although gender swapped in most fate iterations, also being summoned as a Saber class, Arthur Pendragon and her fate adaptation, Artoria Pendragon, are very similar to her original character, with both of the heroes wielding the powerful sword of selection, Excalibur. Drawn from the Lady of the Lake, this version of Excalibur, written in the original tale, was referenced in the Fate series multiple times, with whole scenes referencing Arthur having Sir Bedivere return the sword during his death. Of course, you can't talk about King Arthur without talking about his comrades, the Knights at the Round Table. The Fate series includes many of its members, including Arthur's nephew, Sir Gawain, Sir Lancelot, Sir Tristan, Sir Bedivere, Sir Mordred, and Sir Agravan, and of course, the great wizard Merlin. The Round Table is greatly portrayed in the Fate series, and it's really awesome to see such iconic characters in a great anime. Next is the Indian hero Karna, son of the sun god Surya and the princess Kunti. Karna is introduced in Fate Apocrypha and was summoned as the Lancer class. In the anime, Karna is shown to be a hero of giving and generosity. While fighting Siegfried, the Dragon Slayer, he makes an offer of chivalry and states he will continue his fight later. Offering himself into battle is an example of how generous he is. In history, Karna originates from the Hindu epic Mahabharata. In the anime, Karna wields a noble phantasm called Vasavi Shakti. This was a divine spear given to Karna by the thunder god Indra. Before the final fight between Karna and Arjuna, Indra tricks Karna into losing his golden armor, making him vulnerable. In the anime, Karna is shown to not be wearing his golden chest plate, which differs from his original tale. Although different, Karna is still an amazing character and truly an iconic one at best. Is it really you? The final character I'm going to be discussing in this video is the obvious one. Gilgamesh, introduced from the five-part ancient Mesopotamian poem, The Epic of Gilgamesh, with this being the oldest epic in the world. Gilgamesh is definitely a fan favorite character in the Fate series, and rightfully so, as he has some of the most iconic moments in the show. In the anime, Gilgamesh dons many outfits depending on what class he is summoned as. He is shown to be summoned as the Archer and Caster class, with both classes having their own specific abilities. Even in the Fate universe, Gilgamesh retains his friendship with Enkidu. In history, Enkidu was created by the gods to destroy Gilgamesh, but after Gil fought and met Enkidu, they would then form a bond. Enkidu in the anime has the characteristics of a female, often being mistaken for one by fans. In the tale, Enkidu, being born of the earth soil, sleeps with a beautiful woman, giving Enkidu the same appearance as the woman he slept with. Although Enkidu has no specific gender, he still retains his female-like qualities. Both characters also share the same noble phantasm, which is Enema Elish. which refers back to the original Mesopotamian creation myth with the same name being called Enema Eli. Anyways, Gilgamesh and Enkidu are quite close to their original counterparts, aside from the fact Gilgamesh looks like a boy band idol in an ancient outfit. 
Nonetheless, his appearance is an iconic one in anime. The fate characters are extremely similar to their original tales and the attributes that come along with them. Of course, there are so many more characters I could talk about, but we can do that in another video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.